There is so much makeup, holiday sets, everything that is dropping right now. And I could not wait to share some of what I've gotten with you. I'm so excited to be able to sit down and show you what these look like. And then I'm also excited because there were a million concealers dropped. I'm only gonna talk about one today, but there were so many high-end concealers dropped, like Tula, Tower 28, House Labs. I mean, there was a lot going on. So I wanna talk about that. At the very end of the video, I'll show you what I have on. And by the way, I do have a really cute outfit on. I got the boots, I got the bag, I got the whole nine yards today. And then also wanna remind you that I have a number system. Number comes up on the screen. That corresponds to the product that I'm talking about. Go down into the description box and everything will be there, along with the link that you can shop that way if you would like to. All right, let's get into all kinds of fun and new makeup. Now, first of all, I'm gonna do some cutaways so you can see some of it being put on, but I just want you to know that I have not been feeling very good, so I did not do a full face, although I could have very easily. Let's talk about some of these holiday sets that are dropping. I am a big fan of Sephora favorites. I think they do a great job with what they put in these little bags. I think that even though they are seem like a lot for sample sizes, usually they put a couple of full-size products in here. So they have a mini makeup eraser, which is the cloth that is the microfiber that you can wash your face with. But I have some on Amazon that I get that are just like this, only, you know, the big size, the regular size, and you can get like six of them for seven dollars eight dollars so i'll make sure i link that for you so that's the first thing that's in here a mini size of the charlotte tilbury air blur air blitz far left filter this is a really fantastic setting powder it does have blurring type molecules that really do help your makeup not only stay in place but it also blurs out your makeup so if you're somebody that has texture this is my ride or die actually in setting spray this is a trial size of amica's perk up. I don't know if it's Amica, Amica. Their, their dry shampoo, this is a really good dry shampoo. It's on par with the one from Living Proof. The one from Living Proof is probably my favorite. Again, I'll link that underneath here, but this is a very, very good one. Oh, I also love this stuff. Youth to the People did send me a care package a while ago. Now, all this I bought myself, but this is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea spinach and vi with vitamins and this is their superfood cleanser this is a clean product which is awesome so nothing gunky is going on your skin but this is also a really good size this would last me quite a while as far as cleansers go and i really do like that one a lot i've tried it several times huda beauty now i haven't tried this one so if you guys have you let me know down below this is her baking setting powder and this one is in banana bread i know so many people like the pink one but you guys let me know if this is good on mature skin or not i'd love to hear that also you have a full-size beauty blender so that's worth 20 dollars on its own you also have a fenty beauty mascara in here i'm not going to crack that open because i don't want it to go dry too quick so that is nice to have the deluxe size of that this is the lawless forget the filler I have fallen in love with these. This Lawless brand, I really have, I really do like their formula and I really love this, the sensation that it gives. It reminds me a lot of City Beauty. I know that it's also a clean brand and it's also one that really gives a lot of nourishment to your lips. And I do feel like this is a true plumping one and this is a full size on that one. This one is a Milk Makeup Lip or Cheek Stain, not stain, I'm sorry, it's a balm. That's just a little trial size of that, very pretty color. And then we have, this one is the Peeling Formula Intense Peeling, I guess this is Peeling Pads on there. Yep, it's Peeling Pads. So I have not tried uh, Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, I don't know whether any of you have or not, and this is a two-step system, so I'm excited to try that because um, usually when it's two-step system, some good stuff has gone into it. Anybody that has tried this, please let us all know what you think about that. And then you have the KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner. This is the gel one, and I love using these black ones on my top line to really get really tight lined up there and make my lashes look longer. And this one is really, truly very, very long lasting. I think this would make a great gift for a makeup lover or even a skincare junkie. It'd be so good to be able to give something like this to them. Really quick, if you're not subscribed to my channel, about 65% of you that come and visit me are not subscribed. So if you're not and you're enjoying this video so far, 
will you take just a second and go down and subscribe and like and ring the bell so you're notified of any future videos. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's move on. Let's move on to this set from Fenty Beauty. I cannot remember how much this one was, but I decided to do it because I didn't have any of these colors. Now, I think that these are pretty much new colors for just this particular set. These are the little uh, trial size or travel size. These last forever. I don't know what people are thinking, but those big sizes on me, I I couldn't use those up in a million years. So I have on today a mixture of that blush and the other blush that's in here. So let me show you the two. And um, one is very mauve color and the other one's very peachy color. So, so pretty on those. And then I have on, let's see, I think I put on this rose gold one that's in here for the, the luminizer. These are so nice to work with. They blend out very easily. And I'm just forewarning you that when you try these, you'll want to get more <laughs> because I have a drawer full of them and I have not been disappointed. Maybe the colors might not be right for you. Maybe they're perfect. I say go for it. I always wear my luminizer or my highlight underneath my blush. I really have been enjoying it. And so I have these two blushes mixed together on my cheeks today and then underneath them I have the rose gold color that is in that set. So I think this is a great set. Okay, I went a little bit berserk on the palettes. Part of that is because I hadn't tried two of the formulas that are in here. Patrick Toss eyeshadow formula I hadn't tried. The other thing that intrigued me about this is it's all matte. And so I did work with this today on my eyes. I do have a little bit of something else in there as well. But what's really great about this, I am in love with how saturated they are. I mean, it takes a, I mean, I'm not even hardly putting my finger into there. But they have this whole row right here of warmer colors and then cooler colors. And I just kind of mix them together today. But look at that, so saturated. And in my opinion, these mattes are buttery and very easy to use. I also used his little cream formula over here. This is a little flap to keep them clean, which I love that he did this. I love that he puts a mirror in here. I love the cases on his products. They're heavy duty. You can travel with them, throw them in your makeup organization case and bag, and they're not gonna, you know, nothing's gonna happen to them. So I took the black cream, lined my, you know, tight lined, and then did the powder on top of it such a deep dark line and yet at the same time it was so creamy and just kind of smudged a little bit as i went along i really like that and then i took the brown and i went underneath and i did it with the other brown right here and i really smudged that one out but these are really good really impressed with this one as well as the next one makeup by mario this is his new ethereal eyes these are so good again we're looking at some very neutral tones in here, a little bit of warmth on, you know, a little bit on the warm side, I would say definitely. But I was so impressed with how pretty all of these metallics are. Some of them are toppers. Sometimes when I swatch these, they go away when they're just toppers. But you can see how pretty they are. Oh my goodness. And then the mattes, so impressive. Absolutely very, very impressive on these mattes and how well they blended and I really truly am shocked at how good this formula is. I do like it a little bit better than the Patrick Ta one as far as the mattes go. They're just a tiny bit better to blend, but I mean, you'd have a hard time. So if you don't like the metallics in the Makeup by Mario, then go with the all matte one by Patrick Ta if you're looking for a new palette. And, but if you want that just a little bit of glimmer, like I like to, you know, just do it a little bit across my lids, then definitely go for this one. And I think this is a limited edition. That's one thing that kind of gets me sometimes. Don't make them limited edition. Just let us get it for as long as we want to so we can keep doing tutorials on it as long as we want to. And then this one was gifted to me. And this is from ColourPop. This is their new Cloud Nine one. I am like shooketh. <laughs> <laughs> I know they use that so much, that term. I thought it was pretty cute. Okay, this has got some of the prettiest metallics in it I've ever, ever seen. And I would say that it's more metallics than it is actual mattes. There are some gorgeous mattes in here though. You've got these two mattes in here, right here, that are kind of a neutral matte color, very cool toned actually. And then you've got this white one right here, which is awesome, by the way. And then you've got a 
two duochromes, one here and one here, and they're gorgeous. Let me just see if I can swatch this without getting my white sweater completely ruined. And you can see just how cool toned they are. And then I will just swatch for you this one right here. That is one of the ones that I actually do have on my eyes today on the lid. And that is a duochrome, so pretty. There's a lot of metallics in here, but they're very light. So I have found that I really do struggle with finding light enough eyeshadows. So I love this. I really, really like it a lot. And their metallics do not disappoint. I think ColourPop is beyond the metallic game. I love, love, love their metallics. Let me just see how pretty those are. Absolutely, incredibly gorgeous. This one actually even looks like a topper but as you can see by catching the light, it's just so pretty. Sometimes when I wear white and I'm doing demos for you guys, you're like, oh, you are just swatching too close to that white sweater. That's very true. I do get pretty close to my white sweaters, but I also wear makeup next to my white sweaters. So, oh, look at the KVD. That is having a very hard time coming off and I've got a makeup wipe in my hand. So that's a pretty good eyeliner right there. Yeah, it's taken a lot for me to get that off. So, yes. Love KVD's eyeliners, such a good formula and lasts all day long. You'll love it too. So the new concealer that I wanted to talk to you about is Tower 28. Oh my goodness. This is so creamy, so pigmented, full coverage, serum-like. You can just like put a dot or two and you've got all this coverage. It's just amazing. You can even continue to build. Now, you know, with all of the, you know, sweating I'm doing right now while I'm filming, love my hot flashes. Okay, so I can put another dot right here on this eye and another dot right here on this eye. And then I can just work that in really quickly. And this is, I'm not kidding you, it's so pretty. And I did learn a new trick for concealer very recently that I need to put in a video of very recent things that I have learned as far as ticks, ticks, <laughs> tips and tricks. Uh, yeah, let's not do ticks. I want to check you for ticks, that Brad Paisley song. Woohoo! Now, can you see how pretty that is? Oh my goodness. Beautiful coverage and it's so pretty. Now, I personally have to set because I sweat underneath my eyeballs. I don't know why, but that underneath part really sweats on me. But I know that I've talked to you about this one time before, and I want to stress how special this powder is. This is from Uoma, and it's the Hydro Blast Setting Powder. This, it is beyond special. It's uber special. It's really, really one of the prettiest setting powders I've ever found. It has this cooling technology, so it's encapsulated water. I have heard other companies talk about encapsulated water, and I've never felt what I feel when I put this on. And that is immediately you will feel a coolness because the capsules will burst on your skin. So you're getting that hydration immediately, but then it sets and your makeup is there. I'm just taking a teeny tiny bit on this powder. This is actually probably a highlighter brush. And I'm just going to very lightly set underneath there because right this second I'm filming. See, I just felt that little burst. Oh my gosh, it's so special. It's so special. If you are an older woman and you just struggle with powders, you might think that this one is the bee's knees. I think it is. And I am just absolutely 100% sold on this stuff. It is so pretty. I just, I can't begin to tell you. And I'm still feeling that little burst of freshness in that water. And oh, I've never felt that before with other powders that said that they were hyaluronic powders or hydrating setting powders. Never felt it. Feel it in here. This is all the way thumbs up. Charlotte Tilbury started the whole craze with having the under makeup or the primer or whatever you put under your foundation to give you that very dewy look. Here's Drunk Elephant's version of that. And I really think this is gorgeous. So Drunk Elephant Be Goldy, Be Goldy, Bright Drops, and this has 5% niacinamide in it. Also making your skin healthy and doing good things for it with the serum of the niacinamide. This really is pretty. It's one that just makes your skin just look like glass. There's no particles in it whatsoever. It's just got this 
iridescence to it. And it's not even, when I say iridescence, you think a bunch of different colors. It really is truly a gold undertone on there. But even if you're a cool gal, neutral gal, it works because you're putting your foundation on top of it. And I have had other products that I put my foundation on top of and you could never tell that there was anything under there. Well, guess what? You can tell that there are these drops underneath there. If you wanna talk about glass skin, oh my word. From Peach and Lily, this is their Glass Skin Veil Mist. Now, these guys don't mess around with this glass skin stuff. I, I guess I heard about this maybe on TikTok. I don't remember where I heard about it, but it has a nice spray. So you're getting a very fine mist, which I think is fantastic. And that's one of my little pet peeves if you've been with me for very long. But so very little of this and you all of a sudden have that glass skin look. So if you're going for a no makeup day and you just want it to be about your skin, this is a beautiful setting veil. Now what's the difference between setting spray and veil spray? Uh, the veil is like the finishing touch. The setting spray is what keeps your makeup on or dries your makeup down to a matte or a natural look and this is something that would give you a radiance this is a beautiful beautiful spray but again you're going to look very glass like skin so if you don't like that look you might want to skip this one but if you love it this is really really good i also wanted to tell you that i'm giving my stamp of approval to two foundations this is the laura mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation i have this on today i would say that this is a very light to medium coverage this does not give you full coverage. You're not gonna have cakey skin. This is really not even one that you can build up. So if you're somebody that just wants just a little bit of coverage, just even out that tone a little bit, I don't wanna look like I have makeup on, I just wanna look like my skin is better, this is your friend. This is so pretty. Lasts for eight to 12 hours. It just really depends on what I'm doing that day. And it really is very perfecting, doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. I do like this, but you know me, I do prefer a little bit more of a full coverage. Glossier came out with their foundation. This is a really, really pretty one, and I'm going to definitely put my stamp on this. And this one talks about being the stretch fabric, the stretch foundation. Now what that means is that as your face moves, it's not going to, you know, migrate and settle into those fine lines or wrinkles. And I really do find that it is very, very perfecting and does not head towards wherever my wrinkles are and make me look like I'm a hundred years old. It's pretty. It's a really pretty natural finish and a probably 12 hour wear easily. I really enjoyed this a lot. Glossier is medium to buildable full coverage. So you know that one as well. All right, I heard an influencer talk about, actually it wasn't an influencer, it was a makeup artist, talking about this new product for makeup by Mario. This is the Master Secret Glow Highlighter. The reason that I bought this is because, uh, first of all, it's just a clear product. Hopefully you can see. It's just kind of, a, looks like a balm like maybe a little Vaseline in here. And so I was intrigued, but I was intrigued because how they actually use this was, she said, if you are gathering in your wrinkles right here underneath your eyes, take a teeny tiny bit of this and pat it on there. I wanna say, nope, we ain't doing it. I did this twice and all it did was make them gather more. And it's because it's a balm-like finish. It does not dry down. And so if you've got stuff migrating around here and you're sweating anyway, like I do, then it's going to even go into those little lines and wrinkles more. So as far as it being a pretty glow, now that's a different story. I would wear this on my cheeks all day long for a glass-like finish or you know, as a highlighter over blush without changing color at all. But as far as it being one that you can use underneath your eyes, I don't know if any of you, the rest of you ever saw that and tried it, but it's a no-go. Don't do it, don't try it. <laughs> but it's a pretty highlighter, but it sure isn't pretty underneath your eyes. So I do like it, but I don't like what she sent me to buy it for. Also, LYS came out with the Natural Finish setting spray as well. LYS is a great company. I did like this very much as far as the natural finish that it gave and how it did set my makeup, but I didn't like the sprayer. It does occasionally spit. Not every pump, but occasionally it does spit. So I choose to put it on a brush or on a beauty sponge and then set my makeup with it. And I do feel like it's just a little bit thicker. I, I wish I could show it to you and you could really see it on camera. 
in the actual bottle. It, it looks just a little bit thicker than normal setting sprays. And I'm assuming that is again, because it either has extra thick like hyaluronic acids or something like that in it, or again, it might have those polymers in it, either one. This is from Fenty Beauty, and this is an iridescent gloss in that little ornament um, like boxing thing right here. I think I might buy two of these because I know that it's gonna be a limited edition and it's not gonna be permanent in their line, but this is so pretty. Let me see if I can even get you guys to see it because I've got so much on my lips already, but let's, oh yeah, oh yeah. Can you see how pretty that it's like shifting between pink and kind of a peach? It's really beautiful. And I, yeah, like I said, this is one that I was like, whoo, that's so pretty. And I love this anyway. I love the gloss balm formulas and I have several, but this one is a beautiful topper and just a beautiful color. So I might get another one of these. So now that the makeup's out of the way, let's take a peek at what I have on for an outfit. I wanted to share with you this cream sweater. It's so pretty. Grace Karen is a brand that I absolutely adore. Uh, they sent me a bunch of different tops and things, but this isn't something they sent me. I, it, I just purchased this on my own and I actually purchased it in three colors because I love the way this fits. It's a long sleeve, but I just gather them up. This does look kind of like an eyelet type ribbed sweater, but here's the thing. You might be somebody that wants to wear like a tank top or something underneath it. It doesn't really look see-through too much because I do have on just a nude bra and then, you know, you just kind of see my skin through it, but not too big of a deal. The pants are some that are super stretchy. You know my absolute obsession with stretchy pants and they are high-waisted. Um, they're just like a regular denim material type thing. The pockets are sewn up, which I actually really do like. I don't know why I like the pockets sewn up, but let me turn around so you can see the back of the sweater. And then here is the back of the jeans. I don't have much of a butt, but I do what I can. <laughs> so, and then of course this side of the sweater. I really love this outfit and then of course because of the way my room is set up i swear i'm getting to work on that i'm getting to work on where it's going to be far enough away that i can show you what i have on for shoes but let me show you what i have on for shoes i had to just take it off and i'm just going to stand here and do this so these boots they match my pants perfectly hopefully you can see that they match my pants absolutely perfectly they're so darn cute so darn cute. They have this lace up on one side, but they have the zip up on the other side and they're a booty. And I would say that the, the heel is probably, with the insole right here, I would say the heel's maybe two inches, two and a half inches, but they're really easy to walk in and really comfortable. I really do like them. They come in a bunch of different colors and yeah, love those. And then, and then of course the jewelry that you've been seeing all the way through the whole video. This is one of my favorite necklaces. I put this on every time I just don't know what really to wear. And it's just got this really cute like charm right here. Braided chains, all one necklace, just cute. And then my earrings, I wear these quite often on camera. This is just kind of a twist that goes around with a big hoop. I'm a big hoop girl. You guys know this. I do that all the time. Fun new makeup. I try it all so you don't have to and you know it's the best. If you've tried something new that you think I need to know about, I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment down below in the comment section and we'll get a conversation going about it. So thank you all for being here with me and sticking clear to the end. I love that you do that. I hope that you're all happy, healthy, doing well. Love you very much. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.